Hey guys, back with a concert review. Uh, first one in a while, I've been Christmas shopping, got a bunch of stuff to wrap, you can see back there. But uh, I took some time out to go see Paul Bearer last night. Um, so it was Paul Bearer, and then Solstafir from Iceland, and then Mortals. Uh, when I got there, there was actually a pretty good sized crowd, especially for a Tuesday, like, in Kansas City kind of cold out. Um, there's actually a pretty okay crowd the entire night. I thought that was pretty good. Um, obviously it has to do with the hype uh, from Paul Bearer. I mean, there's so many magazines like metal specific and then not metal specific that have just been lauding all these praises on Paul Bearer's new album. You know, and definitely not unwarranted, but it just, they're, they're one of the, the hottest things in metal right now, I think. Anyway, got there like literally right after I got there. Mortals started. Mortals is a three-piece, uh, kind of like a black and doom metal band. Um, not entirely unlike, I don't know, maybe like a Dragged Into Sunlight, kind of. When they're doing their, their kind of sludgy, doomy parts, it did remind me a lot of Dragged Into Sunlight, and not a lot of bands can, can pull that off for me. Um, but yeah, the, the bass, the, for a three, for a three-person band, each, uh, each instrument, like, was absolutely, like, so heavy. Um, especially the bass. That's just because I'm a bass kind of guy. That's what I play. But uh, the bass was stupid heavy. The guitars and the drums were, too. Um, it actually kind of surprised me at first because they, they kind of went into their first song and it was doomy, but then it kicked straight into black metal stuff. And it sounded great. Um, um, good vocals, good sound. Everyone was really loud. Uh, yeah, it was very surprising. I, I'd never really heard of these, this band before, and, uh, really surprised. I think, I think they made me a new fan, and a lot of people there were definitely dug, dug it. Um, yeah, it was really good, heavy. It's not, it's not like Blackened Doom, kind of like, I don't know, like a Coffin Worm, or a Wolf Hammer, or something like that, but it kind of did both, uh, both genres separate, but equal, um, but they blended them together, like they just moved right into one of one or the other, it's like flawlessly. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, yeah, definitely hoping I see them again pretty soon. After them was Solstafir from Iceland. Uh, Solstafir I saw back at Maryland Death Fest back in May. Um, let's see, like their first album is like straight up like almost Viking metal. And then after that, it's kind of like they moved away from that, kind of into like post-rock and post-metal. Um, I kind of described them as almost like Sigur Rós playing metal. <laughs> I guess that's a good way to put it. When I saw the MDF, uh, they were alright, but it's kind of like I thought, because they're on a giant open-air stage, like we lost some of the like intricacies of the music and some of like the emotion and stuff. Uh, that was all rectified when they played a smaller venue. I thought they were fantastic last night. Um, just like, they, they created soundscapes very well, um, and, and all their music kind of had like a folkish, kind of still like even like a little bit of like a folkish Vikingish metal to, uh, element to it. Uh, but definitely they're, they're not that kind of band anymore, but they do the post rock slash post metal sound, I don't know, better than most bands I've heard it from. Uh, at one point they brought out a, a banjo which was cool, and uh, I don't know, each each song was like, almost like its own miniature epic adventure, like it, it had so many different layers to it that it built all, it built upon itself over and over, um, yeah, I was, I was, I was really was blown away, if, honestly, they might have been my favorite band last night, um, I, the sound was great, uh, uh, again, it, it was, it was heavy, but in a different way, um, but it still got, and then that, again, that's kind of a thing that kind of got lost, uh, in their sound when I saw them in Maryland, but, uh, kind of like the, they had a little bit more subtle heaviness here, but it came through great and, uh, I was, I was floored by them. So, uh, yeah, every song they played sounded great. I don't think it was mostly new stuff, but yeah, fantastic stuff. Um, and then after them was Paul Bearer. Uh, <laughs> Paul Bear is stupid heavy. Like it's it's ridiculous. They they've got they've got it down how to make their sound really really heavy, 
and they do it fantastically. Uh, I mean, it's, it, for the entire night, it's basically switching between new album, first album, new album, first album. But uh, as soon as like, as soon as the first song kicked in, like people started headbanging and 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 pumping their fists and stuff. Uh, it, it seems to me kind of that since Paul Bearer is kind of hitting this popularity stride right now. It almost seemed to me that most of the people in attendance were very familiar with the new album, but didn't really know the first album, which is kind of funny because it's it's so weird because every other time I've seen Paul Bearer, people have been like fanatics about that first album. But now that they've gotten all this huge press, it's like people love that second album, but like haven't even checked out the first one. It, it was kind of cool, but... Um, yeah, the, the crowd was really into them. The guys were on stage kind of cracking jokes a little bit. During one song, the bass player kind of like did the, did the, all right now, can you listen from, from Black Sabbath, Sweet Leaf and stuff. So I thought that was kind of funny. Um, yeah, I, kind of at first I thought maybe the two guitarists' tone was so similar it just sounded like one guitar. But that may have just been me getting used to the, the heaviest sounds of the night. But uh, yeah, it sounded great throughout the entire show. Uh, they played, sheesh, they played at least an hour and forty-five minutes. Um, yeah, like all of their songs. I, I think maybe one song was under ten minutes, and the rest were like eleven to twelve. And they played like eight songs. It was it was crazy. Um, great band. Uh, good. I don't I don't know if they're the best. I mean I I don't know kind of like that. I, I, I kind of hesitate to call Paul Bearer traditional doom. Like, maybe maybe traditional in the sense of, like, not so much, like, rockish, but more metalish. I don't know. Basically, Paul Bearer... Actually, they, they sound like Funeral Doom if Funeral Doom had clean vocals. <laughs> That's just my opinion. But, uh, yeah, they were great last night. Um, well worth going out and checking them out. Uh, and they deserve all the praise they get for their live show, for their albums, anything like that. All right, that is it for me. I may be seeing a show tomorrow, so I might be doing another review. Other than that, I don't really have too much planned in the ways of seeing concerts until next year. So, uh, until then, bye!